Catherine Mayfair, one of the ladies of Wisteria Lane on the ABC hit series Desperate Housewives. The lovely Dana Delaney, everybody. Woman in leather. I really I do. I mean, that is incredible. Yes. The shoes, the lips, and the dress. I love, love, love Look it. Look at Thank Dana you. Delaney. Welcome back to New York again. I know last time you were here, you told us you were coming back. And so what happened? Have you have you bought a place yet? Yes, I just got and I bought my first New York apartment. Woo! Oh, no so, kidding. Thank you, Desperate Housewives. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, you buy an apartment here in New York, and it looks great when you buy it, you yes. know, because you inspect it. And, all. Yeah. and then soon as you go back, the yeah. furniture's out, and all of a sudden you're seeing things. So does this happen? <gasps> I walked in yesterday. I went, what have I done? Right. <laughs> really? And, and they're so the, tiny. And then the newspaper comes out with the Sunday real estate section, and you see all the apartments that are better and cheaper than yours. Exactly. Right. <laughs> I know. I know. But it's going to be great. It's uh, going to yeah? be great. I'm so very now you're, you're dressing it up, uh, decorating it all well, up? Well, I'd let you know, I have a penthouse. Oh. Excuse us. Never oh, in my life penthouse. did I ever think I would have a New York penthouse. I mean, I it's not something. big, but isn't that nice? You don't yeah. need Wisteria Lane ever again. <laughs> so, is there an elevator? Like, does it say PH? Yeah, on but the I elevator? don't get that one. Um, um, Adam Shankman, actually, who directed oh. Hairspray, gets that one oh, right up oh. to us. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he has that one. But no, I walk upstairs to mine, and um, it was an afterthought. It was the maids' quarters. Isn't that funny? Of wow. somebody else's penthouse? Or? Yeah, I yeah. guess they put the maids up on the roof in the best place in the building, uh -huh. you know? So, there's no closets. No kidding. No, no closet. So in, in your whole penthouse? There's like a tiny little one because all I had was a uniform, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that? No. <laughs> you got so excited. I was so excited right. about the terrace. I didn't think right. about closets. <laughs> you should oh. have let me go apart <laughs> shopping I'm not with you. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. But this brings back a lot of memories of your old days, yes. starting out in the business here in New York. Yeah, it was very you know, different back then. Well, yeah, sure. sure. But every young lady in our business seems to have been a waitress at one time or another. Yes. And you go through that experience? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was a bartender. A no bartender? Kidding. Actually, yes. Our trivia caller was a bartender. Really? Yes. Carlos. Well, Carlos. Yeah. I do like a mix a good cocktail. You Did do? you ever make a Cosmo? No, nobody drank those. Now, I men. know that's kind of like a new fad. No, now, I, yeah. I did like grasshoppers. Grasshoppers, like right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the Alexander. Right. So you were a good, you were a good. Uh, you know bartender? where I learned at Summerstock at the Barn Theater in Augusta, Michigan. Mm. No kidding. I was a bartender when I did Summerstock. But yeah. you were acting, and then I was, yeah, and yeah. then at night I would do the bartender, you know, in between shows. But yes, I got a job. I was uh, in New York. I mm -hmm. would look in the paper every day, and there was the same ad every day for a bartender in Wall Street at lunchtime. Uh -huh. And it was there every day. I thought, why is nobody taking this job? Right. So I went down, and they gave me the job right then. They said, you can start right now. I said, OK. They said, but next time, wear a shorter skirt. Oh. I said, OK. <laughs> and dress tighter. I said, OK. So I did the job. At the end of my shift, it was mob run, very clearly. Ah. The guy says, put your hand on the bar. <gasps> I said, OK. I was 22. Right. He pulls out a hammer. Oh, what? And he says to me, if I see you give one more free drink, I'm going to break every finger on your hand. And of course, I've been giving free drinks all day long <laughs> because that's what you do as a bartender. Right. I was so terrified. I went home, never went back, never got paid. I figured this is why the ad was in every day. He never had to pay anybody. Right, of oh, course. Oh, he threatened them, he scared yeah. them, and they never came back. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, I hope he didn't hear that story. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's sitting right at one honey. <laughs> so tell us a, a little bit more about Desperate Housewives. What can we expect as uh, oh, the weeks go by I here? I am so Looney Tunes Are you year. getting crazy again? <laughs> oh, I am cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. What is it about Wisteria Lane? Why does it make everyone insane? It really <laughs> does, or deadly. Or I mean, deadly. This week we're filming this episode where a plane crashes in the street. I don't know how anybody gets life insurance on Mr. Right, <laughs> like, exactly. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. But you're, but you're enjoying it. I'm having so much fun. I'm and how's the new ball. girl from The Sopranos doing? I love her, Draco yeah. Mateo. The new love girl. her. <laughs> the, the new girl. <laughs> well, isn't she the latest one? Yeah, yeah, yeah she's sure. the new housewife. Excuse me. No, I but know. Anyway. She's the right guy, the new girl. <laughs> yeah, and Andrea, she's pretty good, huh? She's fabulous. Oh, that's yeah, great. Love that's working good. with her. Well, then, we always love having you here. Now Thank that you're you. a New York resident, you've got to come back, okay? Thanks, baby. We're going to make over now.
somebody for the holidays. We'll be right back in a moment. Housewives, you know, Sunday night.